Hey guys! In the last video we got to the point where we could preview the default Blender scene in gameplay. In this video I'd like to show you how to create a very simple skeletal animation and have it played in the gameplay viewer. We scale the default cube down a notch and then apply it so it becomes the default scale. Let's begin by modeling, let's say, a tentacle. In edit mode, we extrude the cube upwards to create this kind of a tentacle shape. In this video we are not going to deal with materials and textures, not yet. So I'm going to use the default material for now. Once we have our perfect tentacle, let's see it inside the viewer. I think the camera is a bit off, so let's try and position it better. Switching to camera. And then where? Where's the... Um, okay, here it is. Just move it a bit. That's perfect. Yeah, that's good. Now let's add some bones. I'm switching to front view and then auto. Let's add the first bone and then use extrude to add a few more. We need to assign the armature to the mesh, so hit Ctrl P. We choose to use automatic weights. And let's also make sure we can see the bones using X-ray. Okay, so we have a model and a skeleton. Let's animate it. We add a couple of keyframes. That's the first. And another one. That should do it. Now, when hitting play inside the viewer, hmm, nothing happens, and that's probably because I forgot to tell Gameplay Encoder to group the animations of the node. I'm not going to dive into this now. Once I have that checked, I can see the animation in the viewer. That's all for now, folks. See you in the next video.